I'm regulating you. I'm regulating you right now. My name is Amanda Bays and I am putting you on notice and I am regulating you to tell you that I do not consent. Amanda Danielle Bays does not consent to having fluoride in my tap water. We're being lied to on a daily basis. This is Madison Star Moon reporting to you live from Virginia Beach. I am now going to call the water treatment plant to ask them how do they remove the fluoride from the tap water that goes into the sewage system because this is something that they cannot escape. So I'm gonna go ahead and call them right now. I've already got the number set up. Give me five seconds to connect. Hi, yes, ma'am. Can I please speak to somebody about fluoride? Uh, one moment, please. Thank you. See, fuck this. Morris Bridges Water Treatment Plant, this is Angie. How may I help you? Why is it every time I call you guys, you connect me to answering machines where there's never anyone to answer any questions of mine? Okay, ma'am, I transfer you to the lab. They will be the only ones that would be able to answer any of your questions. But you already um, transferred me to the lab last week several times, and no one there was able to answer any of my questions. Um, I, I, can, I don't have an answer for you, honey. Can I speak to your manager, please? Sure. Thank one you. Moment. Jillian Terhune, Water Quality. Hi, yes, ma'am. I've been calling uh, you guys for two weeks now, trying to get some answers about the fluoride that's added to our tap water and how it's, okay. remo how it's removed back to the sewage treatment plant. Um, and I have been unable to get a hold of anybody or get any answers when I do get a hold of somebody. Is there someone, okay. yeah, is there someone there that's actually in the office working that I can speak to to ask a question about fluoride? You can speak to me. Okay, great. Okay, so I'll stop being all hysterical. It's just really frustrating. Okay, so let me... I, I apologize for no, you're, that. I you're really good. do. You're good. Okay, so... Um, I, I believe that I was out of the office when you called um, previously, because I do remember um, my staff relaying that to me, but there was no phone number associated with the message, so I do apologize. No, that's that. fine. I appreciate you talking to me now. I just have one question for you because it's something that's perplexing to me. Okay, so sodium fluorosilicate is added to our tap water. Now, I read in the EPA guidelines that no non-organic substance shall be added to like rivers, streams, lakes, whatever. Where does the toilet water, when we flush it, where does it go? So that, I don't want to send you to someone else. So HRSD, the Hampton Road Sanitation District, is the wastewater purveyor for this whole area. Um, so they hold the wastewater discharge permit. Um, so where their discharge locations are, I do not know, but I will tell you that when we um, discharge wastewater, I live in Norfolk, so I discharge it HRSD as well. Um, it does not come to the city of Norfolk. It goes to Hampton Road Sanitation District Wastewater Treatment Plant, and um, that wastewater treatment process um, does like heavy organics removal, um, they make sure that the water is treated to a standard with which they are allowed to discharge it into whatever they may be discharging into. Um, I don't want to speak on their behalf because I don't know. Okay. Um, but there are, just like there are really strict standards for drinking water, 
there's also really strict standards for discharging treated wastewater that they have to follow. Okay, so the um, so, only way the only way to appropriately remove fluoride from the water, the wastewater, is reverse osmosis. Do they use reverse osmosis when treating the wastewater? I can't answer that question. On... Well, the answer would be no. But I mean, I just wanted to hear it from you. But okay, okay so I called HRDS. HRSD. Um, mm -hmm. I called them last week and they gave me no information about anything about fluoride, would not tell me anything and didn't know anything. So, so um, can you just help me to understand the concern regarding fluoride? Maybe yes. I can help you a little bit better. Okay, so understand. Sure. Sodium fluorosilicate is a byproduct of the fertilizer industry and it's listed as a toxic substance on the EPA oh, and the MSDS. I understand. Sorry, keep going. Keep going. I, it's, it's located, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's labeled as a toxic substance, a hazardous material on the EPA MSDS sheet, the material safety data sheet. So how in the heck can this material suddenly become good for our bones and healthy for us when added to our tap water? Now, that's, that's the science behind it would say that it helps to build up the bone in like osteoporosis people and stuff like people with osteoporosis and whatnot. But it's also been proven while it's building mass to the bone, it's actually weakening the bone. And there are way, there's way more risks and, and, and dangers associated with fluoride than any possible good thing that it could be doing for us. So, so I just want to know how, how are you guys able to get away with this without our consent? Basically, basically um, what we do is we are held to um, very strict standards, right, by the EPA that are enforced by the EPA and then um, also enforced by our primacy agency, which is the Department of Health. Um, and fluoride is regulated, you are absolutely correct, um, under the Safe Drinking Water Act, and they have what is called a um, maximum contaminant level. So basically what they do is they tell us or HRSD or you know, this has been shown up to a certain point to be beneficial. However, beyond that point, there is a very fine line, which is exactly what you're talking about. And so they draw that line for us they say you may not add any more fluoride that will put the water above this level and that level is 4.0 uh, milligrams per liter and that's exactly from the Safe Drinking Water Act and then what we do is we ensure so we look at it every single day um, we monitor fluoride every single day to make sure that we never even come close to being above that level so on average, our water, the city of Norfolk's water, has about 0 .0 um milligrams per liter fluoride. So if you had, you know, one million cups of water, not even a full glass of any of those cups would contain fluoride. So it's very, very, very low. Um, and that number comes directly from the public health standards that we have to follow. Why would you add, why would you add a non-organic chemical to so water? fluoride does exist naturally. But um, not the so fluoride example, that you're using, not sodium fluorosilicate. So sodium fluorosilicate contains the fluoride, that's the form that it comes in. Um, and sodium fluorosilicate, I don't see it listed. Um, under the Safe Drinking Water Act, um, it's regulated as fluoride, so I can't speak to, um, I can't speak to, uh, if you can give me the exact reference, I could look at it with you. Okay, um, I'm in my but, car right now. I'm actually in between jobs. I'm actually just pulled over in a parking lot to talk to you because... Okay. Okay. This is how long it's taken me to get a hold of you, and I'm just taking my opportunity. Yeah. So now, let me let me ask you this: I don't, sure. I do not consent to ingesting so, sodium fluorosilicate or any form of fluoride. I do not consent to that. So, can you turn off the fluoride at my house if I give you my address? I don't, I don't want to ingest that chemical. 
um, that is not how the water treatment process works. Exactly. So um, you are force you are forcing the public without their consent, with the help of the EPA, promoting this idea that fluoride is good for us. It's going to build your bones if you don't drink a certain amount and this and that. How do we know what is the appropriate amount? that's deemed good and i mean you don't it's not like you have a shut off valve on the water where it says uh oh it's poison now yeah it's it's so the amount that is good is dictated directly by the epa so we do know that but the epa and the epa is, is not uh, falling back on the epa is what all of you government people do you always say well the epa says it's so we at, we are legally I'm regulating you. I'm regulating you right now. My name is Amanda Bays, and I am putting you on notice, and I am regulating you to tell you that I do not consent. Amanda Danielle Bays does not consent to having fluoride in my tap water. I'm forced to drink bottled water, which also has poisons in it from the plastic or whatever, but I, I just don't want to drink poison. Is that okay? Okay, fluoride at the level that we are putting into the water is not harmful. How are you, what, um, what, what, what are you basing that on? I'm basing it on the years of research that has been done. But I have years of research to dispute that. I have years of that, research also that's saying the exact opposite thing that you're saying. Okay, well, I, I honestly can't give you, I think I can't give you what you're asking for. Um, I'm asking to you not to, not to poison our water. And to be open and um, convey to you that we are governed under the Safe Drinking Water Act um, and that the Safe Drinking Water Act dictates how we treat our water. Yeah. So that's where that comes from. Yeah. Um, and if there is anything above that, mm -hmm. um, it's honestly above the utility. It comes from the federal government. Right. Um, Who would so I go to? That, Who would I go to to shut your whole entire operation down, the fluoride operation? Mm -hmm. The fluoride operation. Yeah. Well, because we are required um, to monitor it by the EPA, it's a discussion that would have to go to the federal government. The, the EPA? Um, that's who governs us. You know, um, you know also, let me tell you something. Let me tell you I a little something. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I, would say, I would also reach out to the Department of Health, their Office of Drinking Water, um, and someone there can also kind of maybe provide some clarification um, in terms of the legal requirements. Okay. Now, so, again, yeah. Right. Again, so, you know, the the drinking water standards that we are regulated under, um, so even I went to the Department of Health's website and I clicked on drinking water standards and it brought me to the EPA. Um, but um, they might be able to give you some more on um, like inner working of the legality. Yeah. Basically, I'm I'm handed the Safe Drinking Water Act. Right. And um, you know myself and, and the utility, and we say, okay, this is what we must do, um, and so we do it. So are you and are you claiming? To, what, what's your position there? I'm the water quality manager. So you're the so manager, I water I quality manager. I don't control. I don't control treatment. I just test the water to ensure that it meets all of the standards that are promulgated under the Safe Drinking Water Act. That makes sense. Okay, so now who, uh, the original question that I asked you, how do they remove the fluoride before dumping it into the lake or stream or wherever they're putting it, Chesapeake Bay, who knows where they put it, we'll find that out later, but who would I ask how they remove that, the fluoride? That you would have to ask the wastewater treatment, so that would be HRSD. Question, um, for HRSD, yes ma'am. Okay. All right. Well, you've been helpful. I would like to also add that I have contacted the EPA for about eight years now on a separate issue and have never, ever been able to get a hold of anybody in the EPA. Yeah. If they were a transparent, credible, trustworthy agency, they would answer questions to the public. So it's just, it makes me very frustrated that anytime I call you guys, anybody within the government, you always send me back to the EPA, an agency that you know will not answer any of my questions, and they never well, do. Um, I'm, unfortunately, those, those are our like regulatory bodies, so that's why you keep getting referred back to them. But um, I am, so I'm on the EPA's webpage right now, and I am um, clicked on a link to the CDC on community water fluoridation, and they have um, some information as well about um, fluoridation in drinking water. Yeah. So that might be another resource for you um, to kind of look and, and, you know, and make sure that you feel like you're getting all of the information that you need.
Um, you know, I, I, there are, you know, there is, um, this has been a point of contention in the water world for many, many years, um, and there have been a lot of studies that have been done, a lot of research devoted to this topic. Um, that's also why we keep the levels so, so low. Um, and fluoride does exist naturally. So there are some systems that, um, not us, but whose natural fluoridation levels are almost approaching the, um, the limit set by the EPA, and they have to install reverse osmosis. It's a hazardous um, material, a toxic material byproduct from the aluminum and fertilizer industry. I've done my research. I do not want to drink that. I don't. So I mean, I, so you're basically the long of the short of our entire conversation is there's nothing I can do about it because you're mandated to add a certain amount of fluoride to the water by law, right? Yeah. yeah. That's scary. Think about how scary that is, that you're mandated to add a toxic substance well, that people don't I, consent to. I don't find it scary because I agree with the research but everybody's right. not you and but everybody you doesn't do. everybody doesn't agree right. with the research you work for them of course you're gonna agree with it um, so like I said there there's more um, information yeah. on the CDC's website and if you want more information um, about the fluoride fluoridation process itself yeah um, our water treatment manager okay can speak to that as well and I'm, I'm happy to give you their information okay cool yeah give it to me I'll give him a call tomorrow uh, or something sure it, um, his name is Chris Harbin okay um, and he can be reached at I think probably the same number that you reached me at four four one five six seven eight okay um, area code 757, and he is the uh, water treatment manager for the okay. city. And he he can better speak to, um, like I said, the actual fluoridation process. Okay. Um, what, what I can speak to is the safe drinking water standards and, um, you know, the, the public health standards, but he um, could talk, maybe talk to you a little bit more about the fluoridation process um, okay. if, if you're interested. Okay, so like I said, I just want to give you my information one last time. My name is Amanda Danielle Bays. and to be one second. Yeah. One second. Okay. Okay, Amanda. Can you spell your last name? Please? It's B as in boy, A I S E. Okay. And also, if you guys would like to, you know, my stage name, my activism name is Madison Star Moon. And you can find me, just Google me on the internet if you needed to know okay. any further information of my platforms or what I'm talking about or what I'm going to say about this conversation that we've had. Everybody's going to hear everything that we've said. And I, I just want to be transparent with you guys so you know where to find me. Okay. And we do have um, a public information specialist who you can also reach out to. Okay. Um, her name, and she's probably the best person um, to get in touch with. Um, her name is Rachel Gall. Okay. And her number is 664. Okay. 6730. Okay. Thank you. You've been a pleasure to talk to. I know I've given you a hard time, but I meant every it's word. Okay. That, I, you yeah. know, I, I'm just trying to be, you know, trying to give you, um, you're doing your job. You're doing your job. I feel sorry for you that you can't help me, but it is what it is. But I've, I've now informed you that I don't consent to it. And maybe you can write a note in there. Maybe when people do call, call in with these, maybe if you had enough people that called in and said they didn't want it, we could change the laws, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I can't speak to that, um, right. but that is how that works. Okay, cool. So. Well, thank you again for your time. You've been very cordial and I appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, there you have it, folks. Another call to the government. Uh, she was very polite. She did give us a lot of information. It's all we can do. We just got to keep pushing on through, okay? Just call them and tell them you don't consent, you know? I mean, laws are not going to change by themselves. And we know who the culprit is here. It's the freaking EPA. It's always the EPA.